Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Look, just give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Now let's get to the video. Okay, let's go to let's go to the video. So. First Corinthians 15. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I, I delivered unto you first of all that which I also... Let's go to verse 35. Received how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas and of the twelve. After that, he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that, he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles, that I am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believed. Now, if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain? And your faith is also vain, yea, and we are found false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sins. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ... We are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, afterward they that are Christ's at his coming. Then cometh the end. When he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For he hath put all things under his feet. But when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Else what shall they do which are baptized for the dead, if the dead rise not at all? Why are they then baptized for the dead? And why stand we in jeopardy every hour? I protest by your rejoicing which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord, I die daily. If after the manner of men I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantageth it me, if the dead rise not? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. But some man will say, how are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? Thou fool, that which thou sowest is not quickened except it die. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall be. But their grain it may chance of wheat or of some other grain. But 
but God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds, and also celestial bodies, and bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differeth from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. What such a wonderful thing. See, it said over there that, that at the last trumpet, uh, at the last trumpet, in the twinkling of an eye, we will get our new bodies, which the new bodies, they, they won't die. It will, the new bodies, with the, it will be an immortal body. There is no death in that body. It's a new body. It's a wonderful body. Praise the praise the Lord. That is the, is that such a wonderful gift. At the last trumpet, we will be given our new our new bo our new bodies. Uh, we will be given our new bodies. Yeah, we'll be changed. First Corinthians 16. Now concerning the collection for the saints, as I have given order to the churches of Galatia, even so do ye. Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store, as God hath prospered him, that there be no gatherings when I come. And when I come, whomsoever ye shall approve by your letters, them will I send to bring your liberality unto Jerusalem. And if it be meet that I go also, they shall go with me. Now I will come unto you when I shall pass through Macedonia, for I do pass through Macedonia. Please talk to the earlier church. But... And it may be that I will abide, yea, and winter with you, that ye may bring me on my journey whithersoever I go. For I will not see you now by the way, but I trust to tarry a while with you, if the Lord permit. But I will tarry at Ephesus until Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Chapter 1, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, under the church of God, which is at Corinth, 
with all the saints which are in all Achaia. Grace be to you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, who comforteth us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also aboundeth by Christ. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer. Or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings, so shall ye be also of the consolation. For we would not, brethren, have you ignorant of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were pressed out of measure, above strength, insomuch that we despaired even of life. But we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not... Second Corinthians 2 But I determined this with myself, that I would not come again to you in heaviness. For if I make you sorry, who is he then that maketh me... So, so what I'm trying to say is that so today today's message is that uh so when you go to youtube to my youtube channel i uh, you you will see the video that i made you'll see the video that i made is jesus i please and the great love of god for us just so, so you see that so you that video was just talking about uh, about how Jesus is the high priest, about how Jesus is the high priest and, uh, and how he sacrificed himself to, uh, as a ransom for many. That's uh, that's amazing. So the message is uh, today that 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 you have uh, that uh, it to be. It, if you want to be saved, if you want to be saved and inherit eternal life, you have, you have to rep truly repent because God knows your heart. You have to truly repent and and also trust in in God. Don't don't just repent and then continue sinning uh, because you know you are free now. You are so now you are supposed to to turn away from your sins after you have done that. Okay, so so yeah, and also we talked about we talked about a lot of things about how Jesus the high priest and about how the high priest and Jesus are all connected because the high priest like the high priest goes to the inner place and yeah, the tabernacle and is the tabernacle and then. Yeah, if if you have if you watch, I recommend for you to watch that video that I made. It's uh, so that uh, it's so that you can understand that after you are, you are saved, you, you, you will now know that that uh, that now you are a chi now you are a chi child of God. Yeah, you are a child of God. That means. If, if you, that means, for if you are facing spiritual problems like maybe some people, some people are facing sp spiritual problems like demons, you know, like demons and that bad thoughts. Just just say the name of Jesus. I command you to go away because. Because the Bible says that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord. So the name of Jesus is very powerful. So you just, just say the name, just use the name of Jesus. Use it. Use it. And you have to believe in your heart that God is a, is a protector and he will protect you. Have faith in him and, yeah. And also you have to receive, receive resist the devil and he will flee yeah he will flee you have to resist the devil 
and when bad thoughts come into your mind say into your mind you don't even want it to come into mind just say god will protect my mind and god is protecting your mind god will protect my mind just just confront those bad thoughts with uh, with with the word of god and yeah so for those who are who are for those who are not christians and seen and seen what proof do you have or oh, i have proof the proof is faith yeah the proof is faith you see you, you see if you want to be a believer you just don't believe not everything must not everything must you you not everything you, you have to see it not everything you have to see to believe it like those people say uh, when i see it i believe it for example you love your relatives if you love your relatives uh, if you love your relatives can you can you see the can, can you can you touch the the love can you touch the physical can you touch is it is love a physical thing no you have to have faith faith with that so the things you cannot see the things you can the things you cannot see that the things you can only see with your spiritual eyes is eternal you can't always rely on proof the bible is the proof that jesus is lord the bible tells us that you have to have faith you have to have faith you have to have faith and believe yeah and also uh, and also yeah so it says also the bible says that that one day the it uh, that one day it, it, the rapture will come the rapture will come and then i don't know the true christians when i say true christians i mean there's people who who have faith in jesus you just don't say you are a christian and you drink alcohol you, you do all those bad stuff you do all this bad stuff you break all the commandments <sighs> yeah no you you can't just say you are a christian and do all those bad things no you have to be a true christian by obeying god's word by being good you have to put your faith in him you can't just be you can't just say you're a true christian and you and you lack faith no that's not even a true christian true christian is a person who believes in god and obey and obeys his will okay thank you there and obeys whatever he, he says in the bible okay thank you for watching this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe watch the watch the previous video that i made it's called just the high place and the great love of god for us i made that video i hope you like it and my name is robi Meregi and thank you for watching this video
Thank you.